Hey everybody, Claire here, and today I'm with my friend Chloe. Hi. <laughs> she is the mastermind behind Bon Pouf, and if you have not heard of Bon Pouf, it is one of the brands that I'm the most excited about. It is such a cool idea. It is, I think, one of the only uh, handmade cotton candy companies that I've ever heard of. It's amazing. And so she designs all of her own different flavors, and flavors are like fantastic. It's the fun part for sure. And we covered that in another video, so make sure to look out for that one where Chloe walked us through how she works with her machine. We did DIY cotton candy designs. Super fun. It was really fun. But today we're doing something a little bit different. Yeah, so tell me, what are we doing? We kind of talked about this via email, like yes. kind of what the idea was, but I'm excited to do it. Absolutely, we're actually making pulled candy. So it's similar to cotton candy in the sense that you're sort of stretching can um, sugar and making it into these really thin strands. Mm -hmm. um, this is a popular confection in Turkey, in Persia, and in China. Um, it's kind of an ancient art, so it's a little tricky, but it's um, there's really simple steps. Fantastic, and I love the names for them in the other countries. Yeah, one of them is Dragon's Beard. And in yeah. France, I think it's like Papa's Beard. I love it. Well, because it looks like an old man's beard. Totally. I guess what we have here today is four and a third cup of organic sugar. Yes. We then have a half cup of corn syrup. Mm -hmm. We have a teaspoon of vinegar. Yes. And the vinegar plays an important role here. Yeah, it basically helps the sugar to not get to a point where it hardens completely. Um, it'll actually keep the candy um, malleable. Yeah, because that's the thing. We want to be able to twist it and move it and play around with it. Mm -hmm. It basically turns into a game of cat's cradle. Yeah. <laughs> it's definitely a fun thing to do with two people. Absolutely. We have a little bit of red food coloring, mm -hmm. and then we have a cup of water and a cup, I cannot believe we're using a cup, <laughs> a cup of... Rose water. But this is where you really see the Turkish roots of this recipe. Definitely. Yeah. No, I'm so excited about it. It's going to be absolutely delicious. And so we're just going to basically put it all together and make a hardball toffee. Absolutely. First things first, in goes our sugar. In goes the water and rose water. And I feel like if you didn't want to do rose water, you could just do water and then add another flavoring. Absolutely. You can use extracts. Perfect. And then the half cup of corn syrup, our teaspoon of vinegar, and then how much food color do you think we should do? That's a good question. I think a range from three to five drops, depending cool. on how strong you want it to be. Yeah, let's keep it kind of in the more like sort of natural looking. Yeah, absolutely. Two, three, four, five. <laughs> All right, great. And so medium heat, and we're basically going to just wait to see it turn into the hardball stage. Yeah. which means it it's basically comes to a heat of 250 to 268. Mm -hmm. We have our handy, super aggressive thermometer, thermometer for that. You can use an actual candy thermometer, but my dad got me this and it's That's awesome. It's fantastic. It's an instant mm -hmm. thermometer. You just stab it into whatever you want That's and so cool. it, it instantly tells you what Perfect. it is. I know. So it's a good dad gift. Definitely. <laughs> All right, so we've cooked our syrup up to about 250-ish. 250, mm -hmm. 250, 260. So it's officially in the hardball stage. Yes. And so how much do I want to fill this guy up? You don't want it to be too little that mm -hmm. it hardens, but you don't want it to be too much that it stays too soft in the middle. Okay. So I'd say maybe like anywhere between one to two inches. So that's the Goldilocks yeah. situation. And we've let this cool down to about 200 degrees because otherwise it's like a little, it'll melt the, the plastic, <laughs> exactly. The recipe is probably enough for I'd say like three or four of these. I'd say about four. Yeah, yeah, but we're just gonna work with one today because we don't need buckets <laughs> of hand-pulled cotton candy. No. But great, so we're just gonna let this basically cool in the fridge mm -hmm. until it's like at room temp. Absolutely, Awesome, yeah. so we'll be right back. Cool. All right, so our toffee has basically cooled to mm -hmm. room temp. And you want it to be malleable, not like rock hard, right? Absolutely. Okay, so now let's see if we can get it out of this thing. I think I got it. Ah! Now we get our hands. Yeah. <laughs> With now that we have it here, we're basically going to create like a little donut. Exactly. And you want to make sure that it's even on the on the ring, um, so that one side isn't too thick and one side isn't too thin. Okay. I think I'm getting. Ready. And now, do I just keep going out? Basically, yeah. You want to just like slowly start and make sure you use lots of cornstarch because it is sugar, so it will tend to stick together. So you basically just want to go around the ring. Mm -hmm and just um, start um, pushing on the sides that are thicker and then um, being gentle on the sides that are a little thinner. And once it gets to, I would say, 
around that much mm -hmm. is when we want to start twisting. twisting it. So here's the fun part. So it's basically figure eight <laughs> and then back on itself and then just do the same process again. And it's actually, this is where math comes into it because um, you're basically, every time you double it over, it is to the power of two. Exactly. So it's not like we're just gonna have two and then four and then six. Yeah. It goes, oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this already. No, I can it's tell. okay, it's perfect. And then just go like that again. Okay. Our hand pulled cotton candy is done. It turned out. It turned. It looks crazy. It it looks like what it's called. In Australia, um, cotton candy is referred to as fairy floss. Mm -hmm. I've and heard that. This actually looks like fairy floss. It does. This to me is more accurate. But it's how many different strands do you think we ended up pulling? Hundreds and hundreds. I, well, <laughs> I'd say like a thousands because it's you know. Two times two is four. That's four true. times four is sixteen. And then we were quadrupling it. Yeah, it's pulling it more. All kinds of math. Figure eight. It's crazy. <laughs> Someone out there in the comments who's a math nerd, try to guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, before we start serving it up, let's have a little taste because I'm curious because it looked like a lot of sugar, but hmm, it's not too sweet. It's not that sweet at all, which is very surprising. And the rose water is actually subtle. Mm -hmm. No one's gonna believe me out there, but it actually <laughs> is. It doesn't taste like perfume at all. It tastes really lovely and subtle. It almost reminds me, it reminds me of Turkish Delight. Totally. It tastes a lot like yeah. Turkish Delight. And the color is kind of similar to mm. that as well. I love that. I can't think of Turkish Delight and not think of the um, the Snow Queen from... Narnia. Uh, yeah, from Narnia. Oh my gosh, that was my favorite Who's that? She would, she would love this. She would. Tilda Swinton would love this. <laughs> <laughs> you had an idea of, well actually I'll give this to you. Because you said that um, you've seen it serve almost like a little pillow. Absolutely. I think in, in some countries what they do is they actually make these little pillows and put chopped nuts inside mm. or outside. So I'm going to chop the pistachios because pistachios and rose are just such a great combination. Plus the color contrast is going to be gorgeous. Well, those look adorable. Okay, so I guess um, do you want to sprinkle with a little bit of nuts? Absolutely. Let's do it. It, so good. it looks so pretty. I love the contrast of the bright green pistachio with the sort of barely just blush colored. Mm -hmm. I love the color of this turned out. Me too. So pretty. I'm so happy it's not like crazy hot pink. Yeah. And then I love the idea, because I mean, I think since we're going sort of with a Turkish theme here, of adding like a baklava note mm -hmm. by doing some honey. And you made the kind of comment that I thought was really cool that the honey isn't actually going to melt this. It won't. The cornstarch kind of acts as a barrier between the honey and the candy. This looks adorable. I cannot wait to try this. Me too. Okay, you ready to dig in? Yeah, I'm totally ready. Okay, I'm trying to get a little honey and some of the nuts. Yeah, those pistachios are the key here. Mmm. If you let it sit, it kind of hardens a little bit. It's true. What a unique dessert. Absolutely. I've literally never had something like this. It's so beautiful. It almost reminds me of like candy pasta, if that makes totally. sense. Totally. Especially the reason these sports like I know, I'm really like twirling it. It reminds me of in the <laughs> other video you talked about a crazy person who eats their cotton candy with a fork. It was the best. I thought it was so awesome. <laughs> and now we're like that person. Mm -hmm. This was so much fun. Thank you for doing all the research of and course. walking me through this. Absolutely. absolutely. Thanks for having me. Of course. <laughs> this was great. Well, thank you again. And make sure to check out Chloe at Bon Poof. Mm -hmm. She has a fantastic Instagram. And she also can be found at bonpoof.com. Bonpoof.com. Yeah. All of the info will be below. Um, but just fantastic stuff. Thank you so much. Of course. Thank yeah. you. Bye, guys. Bye.